Brent here, catching giant flathead catfish on bank poles from the bank. Welcome back. Doing something a little bit different today. We are going back to my roots. We're gonna set bank poles from the bank. I've got my bank poles in my hand. Small, small bucket of bullheads, handful of bank poles, and a long, weedy, muddy, nasty walk to the river bank. Let's see if we can catch some flatheads or cat. Let's see if we can catch some catfish the old school way. Thanks for watching. All right. Let's try not to die here. Look at him swim. So there's a lot of current here, but there's also the swell. You can see the current, the current's pushing back. So it's creating like this little whirlpool here. And man, we have just torn the flatheads up in that type of area. So I, I like this set. I like it quite a bit. All right, set number one, let's, uh, let's do that. A few more times. Okay, we're to another set here. And look at this slack water. I had to walk a little ways to get to it. Man, it looks pretty good. Let's, uh, oh yeah. We're gonna put two poles in here. Gonna get a little slimy, but let's do it. Here's where set number four is. That's my final set. Oh, it's gonna go in here. Um, got a nasty little back swell, budding up to the main channel. And then I've kind of picked right here where it all kind of meets to a head. I can't, I don't know if I can reach my pool down there. I might be able to get a little ways. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty deep. I mean, for the stream we're fishing as deep, I mean, Oh, it's probably three, four feet deep, at least maybe. Could be a hole up in there. So I'm gonna get this set. Other two sets are just right up there. See the bullheads are bobbing. And then of course, four sets further down, or I'm sorry, upstream. But I'm gonna put this in here. I'm just upstream from, it's probably been, I don't even know, six, seven years ago now. It was June, mid to late June. I think late June, just like now, it's June 25th today. Put a couple bank poles out and I uh, came later in the night and tied into, uh, I think it was a 42 or 43 pound flathead catfish. Pulled me into the river. Uh, it was, uh, 
<laughs> it was it was nuts. It was before YouTube, before the video cameras, before all that stuff, but I'm gonna get this last pole in. Four poles soaking in the river. Let's leave those bullheads be and we'll be back in the morning. Well, good morning. We are making our anxious walk back down to the river to see if one of our four bank poles has got a nice surprise. So let me trudge my way down here. See if we can get, see if we can put something in this today. Okay, this we're up to set two and three. We got something going on. It looks like I got a big old flathead down there, but it got into both of my lines. Might have put them too close together, but I think that's catfish mouth moving. Let's go down here and see if we can get our hands on it. Yeah. Looks like a decent flathead actually. Oh, it is. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get down here. Did I mention this isn't very easy? Uh, try not to get. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's got two poles on it, so there's that. Try to kick myself in the bank here a little bit so I have some leverage. Oh yeah, it's a good one. That's a really good flathead. I really hope I can get to it. I can't. Oh. <laughs> this is nuts. Ugh. I can't. That's all jacked up. All right, I gotta try to get here. I can't. I can't see you, buddy. I can't see you, buddy. Come back over here. Dang it. I got it in the net. Oh, I got it in the net. Oh, that's a bruiser. Bank fulls from the shore. Oh, I got two fish on. Oh no. <laughs> I got two fish on. There's another fish on this one. Oh, I gotta try to unhook this one quick. I gotta try to get this one unhooked. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I got two nice flatheads. Oh man. Oh, it's fighting me. We're tangled, that's the problem. There's no way to get this undone without unhooking this one. I can't. I got so much pressure on it. Ah, oh, there's a lot of pressure working against me here. I don't want to lose it. Okay. There's one hook undone. Oh, man, that's a, that's probably a 30 pound fish. Oh, the other one got unhooked. No, nope, it's still here, I think. I don't know, I just don't know. Yeah, there's some weight there. There's definitely still fish there. Gosh, I got my hands full here. 
Let's set this one here for now. Man, that's a big one. It's a big old fish. <sighs> yep, I still got a fish here. Oh, this one might be bigger. This one is bigger, I think. In the net too. <laughs> Look at that! Wow! I hope everybody could see that. Holy smokes! Look at that! Oh, that's nuts! Oh, that's nuts! Oh man! Wow! Look at that! I got mud up to my ankle, well, almost my knees now. And I've got two monster flatheads. They've clearly been, they're spawning. Look how tore up they are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Corner hook sets on both of those big old, big old hogs. All right. I'm gonna try to get up, up here. That way I can take a better look at these fish. Let's see if my neck can handle it. Oh, 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 shnikes, holy shnikes, um, I bet that's pretty muddy. Oh, oh. look at those hogs. Okay. I'm sort of situated here. So we've got these two giants, these two absolute hogs, hog giant flatheads. I caught these puppies on the bank. You can do this too. You don't have to have a boat and all the fancy stuff. Put in some leg work and you can do this too. There's one. Here's two right here yeah baby and here's both if I can do this and here's both of them yeah there's two monster flatheads oh yeah baby all right Let's get them back in the water. Okay. Here goes one. Just gonna revive them a bit. Here's two. Big one's ready to go. That one's good too. CPR, baby. Woo! Well, I'm approaching my last pull and my line's all the way raveled out. It looks like whatever it is went so nuts that it ripped the cap off my pole. So I don't know what that might mean, but I'm gonna go down here prepared and see what's going on. Yeah, there's a fish on here. It's big. Yeah, it's big. I don't know if I can get my hands on the line. Oh yeah, it's big. It's a big one. Uh. Oh, it's big. It's big. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Oh. Oh, shnikes. I just wish I could get my hands on that line. Oh. 
Oh, oh, it's got some power. Oh, it's got some power. Oh, I got it in the net. I got it in the net. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Wow. Three, three of four bank poles with monster flatheads on them, on the bank, super primitive style. Doesn't get much better. I'm doing some, I'm doing the best I can with the camera here. Here it is. There's fat, flathead number, number three, three of four, another beauty. Just a sweet fish. Man, look how beat up these fish are. They are they are moving into spawn. They've been breeding, doing all kinds of stuff. Um, it's just nasty business, I guess, but um, that's three of four on, on these bank poles, man. I hit this, everything was perfect. Good bait, good location, right time of year. You can do this too. Let's get this one back in the water. There he goes. All right, <laughs> we're done. I'm gonna pack things up and get going. Um, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for uh, joining me if you made it this far. Man, that, that takes me back. It is a lot of work, but the reward is like none other. Anybody can do this. You don't have to have a fancy boat. You don't have to have all the, the expensive stuff. You can catch giant flatheads too. You get the, the right quality bank pole. You get the right bait. You find the right locations and it's the right time of year and you can do it as well. Any person can do this. So thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, like the video if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it, put it all over the place, help us grow. And we'll get you, we'll catch you next time.